uh, Marcus Leto, I, I mean, co-creator of Halo uh, and Battlefield game director, uh, has left EA. Uh, you know, it's like it's a shock for me because it's one of those things where uh, you believe that the Battlefield game, the game that has revolutionized some of the games that we play today, you know, and now we see this game is still in limbo, man. So let's let's talk about this for a little bit. Yeah, Battlefield 2042 kind of launched with a little bit of controversy, you know. It didn't have the smoothest launch, and, you know, seeing that Leto was joining the cast there, hoping that that would really turn things around. So I don't know. Him leaving sounds like a, a warning to me uh, about the future of that game or whether whether they're going to keep pushing with that unless they find someone else to help head that up. I mean, that's that's tricky. I've heard good things, though. I've heard that the game is kind of in that turnaround area. Okay. So, so let's talk about the good things. What have you heard that should still give us, you know, some hope that Battlefield 2042? Uh, and I have some thoughts there, and I'll, I'll share after you share. Uh, what have you heard that's still good for the series to uh, either resurrect it from where it's at right now? Yeah. I mean, at least where 2042 is concerned, I think they kind of just overhauled some of the decisions that they made early on like it was going to be like a character shooter at first and they had the classes and stuff like that and then they kind of went backwards on that and went more traditional back to like what battlefield 4 had in terms of like mechanics and choices that you can make about your weapon kit and all that so and i think yeah just over the over the years i guess that that game has been out they've been slowly um turning things around but Sometimes it's too little too late for stuff like that. It's really tough in this market. Yeah, absolutely. So according to this particular article that I'm looking at here, uh, Leto, who had been heading up Seattle-based Ridge Line Games, an EA studio dedicated to Battlefield franchise, has seeming, seemingly scrubbed all mentions of Battlefield and EA from their social media bio, as well as updated their LinkedIn to state they've now left EA. And I think that for me... When I think of Battlefield, and, and we've played, you know, some of the cops and robbers type of Battlefield games, right? We play some of those hardline, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and we've definitely enjoyed that particular series. And that series, because of the framework of the title, how it was very simple in its approach and what it, what it was delivering, right? And I think mm -hmm. one of the things that we're looking at now is when we think about formula and some of the things that we're seeing from, you know, companies that are doing stuff like Helldivers 2, the simple formula is always the things that we remember, right? So we have to tie it in, right? It's always the yeah. things that we're, we're going to remember. When you think about, you know, the changes that Destiny is currently considering making in PvP and taking out all the supers and just having the players have weapons only, okay? Mm. When you think about changes like that, where, you know, you look at uh, what Halo has done with um, just the, the burst fire weapon in the, the game, no shields, Right. Yeah. So so why why is it why does it seem like it's difficult right now that Battlefield doesn't just go back to the 1942 Battlefield and give us that with the new technology? That's what Modern Warfare has done for the current Modern Warfare games that we're playing right now. We're not playing anything new. We don't we don't want anything new. We we <laughs> want like I mean, I mean, just I mean, tell me, tell me how you feel about that. We no, want the things right. that we want the things that work. Right. Yeah. And we keep revisiting that. Why do companies uh, continue to make remakes? They make remakes because we're going to play them. Yeah. Because because we don't want anything new. So how do you feel about that? Like when you think about 1942, that particular battlefield, that was a simple formula. Just hold that particular zone for as long as you can. And if you hold it for the longest period of time, you're the one that's going to be victorious. Like that battlefield 1942 is a great formula to just, double down on in a current battlefield environment because i don't think we're looking for that much change what do you think about that yeah it's it's very simple mechanics simple weapons of war you know it doesn't get too complicated i think when you go too far in the future you get stuff like drones and all sorts of emps and all creative new technologies that kind of bog down the core concept of we just want to hold this hallway and keep the bad guys from getting in Stuff like that. Yeah, so, I mean, they could go to whatever era they want, but I do think 1942 is <laughs> that's a special sweet spot there where they could just pull in the nostalgia, 
just make a really good solid game that's fun to jump in and replay, which is what Helldivers is doing. I mean, even the Tomb Raider remaster that just came out this last week, three Tomb Raider games in one, the first three games in the series, and there's probably going to be more, I mean, based on popularity. But yeah, you're right. I mean, we just want to play <laughs> the old stuff, but make it new, you know? Give us Call of Duty, but throw on the new graphics, but give us the old maps and the old weapons that we love the sights and sounds of. So you're right. Yeah, well, absolutely. So so a quick sidebar there. So I'm currently watching the uh, Hideo Kojima uh, documentary, right? The one connect, um, Connecting Worlds, right? That's on Disney+. Plus. So if you haven't, definitely check that out. You'll love it. Um, and I think that when you, we think of an individual that can uh, not necessarily get away, but get away with the fact that they could say, hey, we're, we're making something new. Uh, who's on board? Hideo Kojima is the only person that I know of right now that can say, hey, this is a new concept. Uh, it's going to revolutionize how we think about, you know, movies or film, uh, movies or, or games. And, you know, people will buy in because it's Hideo Kojima. Outside of that, outside of that person, right? I don't know if there's any other person that we could just bank on like that and and pay for a project that we know nothing about. Death Stranding came out of nowhere for us, mm -hmm. right? It was a surprise. Uh, but now we see that it doesn't matter what Hideo Kojima comes up with. A company is going to back it. The game should be made, right? Based on the experience that we've seen. And now it's, it's just now just learning a little bit more about how he thinks about things. And I think the documentary shows a, a good, you know, portion of that, but before, we, before we get, you know, move, move too fast. Right. So, so Leto has not formally announced their departure uh, for, or commented on the next steps. And, and my thing is battlefield is such a great game because of, of all the things that we play now that has, it has inspired. And the fact that it's going out like that for me, is just, it's, it's really sad. It's really sad in a lot of ways. So, so Battlefield One, did you play Battlefield One or check it out at all? Yeah. yeah. What'd you I think about one so, and five? Yeah. One and five were both tumultuous entries in the series where it was like, where where are we going with this series? I know they wanted to kind of tread new ground by going to like World War One as opposed to World War Two that we've become so intimately familiar with. Um but yeah, just it wasn't the secret sauce. I mean, people, I, I think people actually flocked back to Battlefield 4 after they kind of got their fill of some of these new games. They were like, you know what? Battlefield 4 was like the most recent Modern Warfare entry with the secret sauce of what makes Battlefield great and what distinguishes it from Call of Duty, right? Those big, massive battles.